sculpture for me was a matter of connecting shapes. I found that a lot of the shapes had an interesting uh, position with it all at different angles. And if you, if you cut something up and look at it a different way, you get uh, shapes that you wouldn't normally envisage. Leon's creative process is just the whole world around him and he builds, he finds all these materials and then he makes these wonderful sculptures out of it. At one point I was having the roof of my house re-shingled and as the workmen were finishing the job I saw a couple of bundles of shingles left over so I had an idea to keep shingling and uh, but doing something different so I went quickly to a used car lot. I bought a car for a hundred dollars, bought it back and then asked my roof guys to keep shingling. It took them longer to shingle a car than the whole roof. It's a 30 year shingle so I'm getting a lot of use out of it. But I had a lot of little things going on here. Well I met a doll maker and he had a, a lot of doll's eyes so I took them from him, I bought them from him and so uh, I bore there's a pun there. I made a toilet seat with wood chips. And what was behind that? Well, I thought, how do you get a guest out of your house quickly? See, where have all the Holsteins gone? There used to be a lot of farms up here that disappeared. So this is a cows going into oblivion. This is a self-eating bagel. The teeth allow it, it's allowed it to eat itself. Vacuum cleaner with teeth on it. What it signifies. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's Freudian. There's a woman who rents from me in the corner who's a Freudian analyst, and she saw dark things in a lot of the sculptures. He puts images together that speak to us from kind of the deepest core of ourselves and make us uh, think, what are we looking at here? And uh, that's what I think is extraordinary about him, is that he taps into parts of himself um, that are kind of unknown parts of us all and uh, speak to us on another level. I go to my studio every day um, because it's, it's uh, important for me to keep a certain discipline and also I'm very curious to see what I did the previous day, see if it's still holding up overnight. I rather enjoy being in my studio and what is important for me for the continuity is to be doing several several pieces at once. So if you get uh, trapped with one, you can just go to the, the other one and try to get some response out of that sculpture. How do you know when you're getting a response? When it looks good. And that's, that's an instinctual thing. You'll acquire some, some somewhere that that, that you're, you're working on a piece of art. And that's where travel comes in to be of importance because you're, you're out of your environment and you're open, open to new sensations.